hour is late. It's time to decide. I'm quite confident that you will make choice wisely. In addressing global warming issues, the scientists have made it quite clear. Climate change as a self-inflicted wound, if you like, can wipe out the very meager assets. We have a climate crisis that is a planetary emergency. We are so, so close to the red line that perhaps we may wake up tomorrow and find that there's nothing to save after all. We have reached a point where we have a, a real emergency. The message should be clear. Climate change must take its place along those threats like conflict, poverty. Climate change is responsible for conflicts that can only deepen in the future if we don't hack as soon as possible. It's the only thing that I believe has the power to fundamentally end the march of civilization as we know it. You will have a catastrophe, add it to, to another catastrophe. Climate change means catastrophic violent weather. Like wildfires and devastation. Rising sea levels. Rising food prices. To the spread of disease. <laughs> The North Polar ice cap is melting so fast. But what seems to me to be important is that some of the effects we are witnessing now are happening twice as fast as scientists were predicting just five years ago. A report issued earlier this year by the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change concluded both that global temperatures are rising, that this is caused largely by human activities. And if you look at the fourth assessment report of the IPCC, we've assessed several stabilization scenarios. In 2010, there could already be as many as 50 million environmentally displaced persons due to climate change, desertification, and deforestation. Experts tell us that the situation underlying the crisis is not a temporary one. And it's getting more and more difficult every day. And there's no guarantee that human civilization can survive. The doomsday clock of climate change is ticking ever faster towards midnight. We are simply not reacting quickly enough. Do we need to move faster to answer the question, yes we do, because we have less time than we thought we had? So climate change is obviously going to have a major negative impact. The scale and the pace of environmental change at the beginning of the 21st century are a serious wake-up call to us as human beings on this planet. If the future of the world depended on me, what would I do? You know, without a doubt that global warming is a reality, and the question today is not, is it happening and not, is it bad, but what are we going to do about it? We are all part of the problem of global warming. Let us all be part of the solution. The challenge you face is to prove to people that you are serious about adaptation to the unavoidable. Meat production and consumption is hugely intensive in terms of carbon dioxide emissions. More than all cars, trucks and ships added together. Unless we change our food choices, nothing else matters because it is meat that is destroying most of our forests. It's meat that pollutes the waters. It is meat that is creating disease which leads to all our money being diverted to hospitals. So um, it's the first choice for anybody who wants to save the earth. The food we eat and how it's grown and the kind of food we eat uh, matters a lot. Everything comes uh, with an environmental price, uh, beef production in particular. We consume far too much meat in this world. The stairs where the climate problem is, our meat consumption. Something that's harmful even for human health. I do eat a lot of vegetarian meals. I, I think that's something we can all do. That's one of the easiest ways 
uh, that we can make an immediate and quite substantial impact. There are some wonderful um, environmental benefits in terms of uh, you know, taking a couple of steps lower down the food chain. And the choice we face is a, t is a really simple one, actually. Just for one day, or more than that, become a vegetarian. Let us approach climate change not simply as a looming future threat, but as a present opportunity to work together. The time for action is now. What can I, what can the government do to help? What can you do to help? How can we do this together? And it's about what we do from this point on and this point forward. Individuals can take action. We have to try to help And as individuals, through the choices we make, the purchases we make. If we once understand this and take the necessary actions, then we actually have a much better situation. And if you eat less meat, you will be healthier and so would the planet. Then there's some kind of realization of individual responsibility to take care of this planet. Our generation has inherited an incredibly beautiful world and it's in, really in our hands whether our children inherit the same world. That is our duty, so that our children can have a decent quality of life on this planet. We cannot be anything less than courageous and revolutionary in our approach to tackling climate change. It's a win-win situation if you eat less meat. Living in harmony with the natural world is the only way for the future. Nine billion people, one planet, one chance to get it right. Go veg, be green and save our planet.